solve by completing the square x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. First of all, we don't want the number they give to us, so we don't want the constant over here. Let's get rid of 3 by subtracting 3 on both inside. Therefore, we get x squared minus 6x, this one cancelled out, equal to negative 3. Now, we're going to, in order to make a perfect square, we're going to add a number here. The number we're going to add is supposed to be half of the b and then squared. So b stands for the coefficient of x. So in this term, the b is equal to negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 and then squared. So we get 3, negative 3 squared, which is 9. So we're going to add 9 on both hand sides. We're going to add 9 on both hand sides. Now on the left hand side, you may see a perfect square. If you factor it, it will end up with x minus 3 squared. Now simplify negative 3 plus 9, which gives us 6. Now we can apply the square root property to undo the square, we are going to take the square root on both same side. But don't forget plus minus. So we get x minus 3 <laughs> equals plus minus radical 6. To solve for x, we are going to add 3 on both same side. We get x equals 3 plus minus radical 6.